hai rene how are you very well thank you teacher are you i'm fine i'm fine i'm on this thursday <laughs> The Friday is near, teacher. I know. <laughs> very near, Irene. Very near. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, where do you live today in Santa Ana, Irene? I live in Santa Ana. Yeah, but was it raining today? Ah, uh, yeah, a little. All right. But, um, no, no. Not right now? Who's now? Uh huh, it's now, no. Mm. Mm -hmm. It rained here all day. In San Salvador? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, here, only in the, in the morning, mm -hmm. was cloudy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it was it was very cloudy here in the morning and then like about 10, 11, no, about 11, it started to rain until like 4. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it rained here in, in your place. Yeah, it was really like heavy. It was raining heavy actually. Ah, okay. For that, you you even uh, see in red color again. Uh huh. <laughs> really? Uh huh. I I don't. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's really Ma weird. Maybe it's raining in your place. No, not anymore. It it stopped raining at four, and I just oh. <clears throat> I just finished another class, and I I was okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Sometimes the Irene is bad in in many places. Yeah. Yeah, when it's raining, that's a problem because it rains and then the connections get like very not stable. <clears throat> of course. Yeah. And and your day today, Irene, everything okay at work today? Uh, I don't, I don't work today. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, because it, it's a um, teletrabajo. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. You told me yes. It's right. Yeah. Uh huh. Irene, what about so, this? What about the participants of your program? They are taking their classes online. Uh, online. Uh huh. The participants of your program. Ah, uh, in in my work. Uh huh. O only presencial, but uh, the next month, uh, ye yes, uh, maybe online too. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. For the for the situation, but in other in other time, mm -hmm. only presencial. Yeah, I know, but right now because this um, COVID nineteen, the classes are online. No, no. Okay. It's a four. Um, um, no, ha dicho todavía. It hasn't said. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, but maybe the next month. Yes, online. Mm -hmm. Only online because uh, the participant needs need finish that the training. Mm -hmm. And right now, this past month, they haven't received classes. No. On, until March, mm -hmm. they receive class presential. Then no. 
No classes, okay. No, no classes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because of the situation, but, right? Yes. Uh, the problem is uh, is because the participants some uh, some sometimes don't have a technology because mm. live in the suburbs, may, maybe. Yeah. Right. Yes. Or or don't have inter internet, maybe too. Uh huh. Uh huh. For that. All right. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what happens, eh? Very good. Hi, Jose Luis. Hi, Moises. Hi, Eli. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. I don't stay, in, I don't stay at home. Why not, Eli? Where are you? I, uh, I stay where my sister. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. But you are in class, so that's very nice. <laughs> very good, Eli. Very nice. All right. So I see also uh, Verito. Hi, Vero. Hi, Jose Luis. Moises. Eric. Mauricio. Very good. And Eli and Irene. All right, guys. I'm going to take attendance right now, okay? Because it's part of the, um, the way we need to do things. Let me just get my glasses so I can take attendance. All right, let's see. Nancy Elizabeth Larín Chávez. Present teacher. Erika Lirio Pérez Díaz. All right, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. Okay. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. <laughs> present, uh, pre present, Excellent. present. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Thank you. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Hi, Oscar. Oscar. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Thank you. All right, Cruz, thank you. It's the same. All right, Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Diana Gabriel Hernández Morales. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Yes. yes, thank you. All right, uh, Guillermo Antonio Maya Escobar. No. Nope. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, very good. And then we have Gerardo Daniel Gomez Rodriguez. Not here yet. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Véngase. All right, Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Verónica Lisette Soto Serna. Present. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. All right, very good. Jesse, uh, Jesen, uh, Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Very good. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Good Thank evening. you. Good evening, Eric. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> very good. Welcome. All right, guys. So um, remember, I'm going to start by saying this. Remember, tomorrow is the last day of our course. It's the last day of our classes. All right. And you have to, have to, have to be in class tomorrow, okay? Because it's the last day and we will work on the um, questionario, no, the, the, the encuesta de All right? Eh, yeah, the survey, very good. Eh, hoy vi en el grupo que ya les se las mandaron, ¿cierto? Yes, very good. All right. 
Y también recordarles que la vamos a hacer mañana juntos y juntas. All right. Teamwork, teamwork. All right. So tomorrow at night we're going to do the, uh, the evaluation or the uh, survey of satisfaction. All right. Very good. So tomorrow a las 9 de la noche. No quiere decir que a las 9 se va a conectar. Usted se va a conectar a las 8 bien juiciosito como siempre. All right. Eh, y a las 9 we're going to take a break and we're going to do the survey. No es larga. No se preocupe. All right. Pero cualquier cosa lo hacemos mejor juntos por cualquier duda o inquietud que usted tenga. All right, very good, guys. So tomorrow is the last day. Can you believe it? Five weeks have gone by so quickly. All right, so that's very, very good. And I do appreciate you being with me like every day. All right, or you have been with us, you know, in some way. All right, so that's very nice. Also, mind you, the platform, guys, please work on the platform. Remember that it has to be done by Saturday morning, the latest, because I have to send the report, okay, on Saturday afternoon. And it's our last, tomorrow is our last day, so I won't see you Monday, all right? So I need you to work on the platform before Saturday noon, okay? Very good. With that in mind, guys, yesterday we, we were talking about assets of Gen X, Gen Y, or millennials, all right? And we were like asking the type of assets you guys think you've got and what, uh, as a person, all right, the assets that you have as a person. And, it, you know, it's nice to hear that you guys uh, feel that way about your, yourselves because I believe it's true. You guys are reliable and responsible. You're honest, all right? And you, all of the assets that you guys mentioned. Now, let's talk about a little bit. It's all like related, but sometimes some assets might change. Like what does, for example, Oscar, all right? Oscar, you at your workplace, what things, all right, do you bring to your workplace, all right? Like what from your assets that you mentioned yesterday or the assets that you feel you have, what do you bring? How do you bring them to work? What do you do? What does Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores do to, mm -hmm. to improve the job, to improve the, the, you know, the whole environment of your company, for example? Okay, the team, teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. Uh, teamwork is, uh, is uh, vital for, for my job. Okay. We work together. Um, the other asset for for everyone is English. All right. You have to have a, a minimum level. All right. We are tested uh, every every five, four or five years. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And um, how to say it, to work in okay uh, make decision making the decision making you have to in my case you have to decide uh, in one situation quickly. Wow. and safe oh, quick and safe uh -huh, quick and so, so those are the main assets okay yes right. I, I was telling that everybody that no no matter uh what career do you do you pursue uh, i mean pursue a or if you went to see if you went to the university those are yeah. the assets for that job okay. and right. then the 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 next the other things come come along with this all right all right uh -huh. now that means oscar that in a way for the type of job that you do necessarily you have to be for example an engineer no okay no because uh they give you the training right okay, okay. now how long is the training uh, one year without right. pay without pay it's, without <laughs> it's pay a, uh -huh, it's a faith uh, act Wow, are you serious? Yeah, uh -huh, you just receive a, a, a bonus for maybe five five dollars for for your meals and, and, and the transportation. And you per have day. to be there every day? Uh -huh, five dollars per day, uh -huh, to Wow. Uh -huh. It's uh the after the the training you do an on job training. Right, okay. After the, the formation course I believe is this that that's the name? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Wow. So, and Oscar, did you have to take that training? I did. I did in 2001. For one year? 
and then I and I wait uh, and I, then then I waited uh, um, for months to be hired. Oh no way! Uh -huh. Now does, does everybody get hired or not everybody gets hired? Mm. Not, now not everybody. When I did it, um, almost everybody. Okay. Because uh, they invest in, in the training, so they have to say. <coughs> uh, if you are there, because they are, have, if, how to say, if you are there, mm -hmm. you were chosen if because you have the, prof the, the, how do you say? Perfume? The requirements, the profile? Uh, the skills. Uh -huh, you right. have the profile, the skills. Okay. And then you finish, but now nowadays, so many people, talk, speaking about millennials. Right. So many people, so many good people, many talented people. So they have to uh, chop the, 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 the oh my goodness. promotions. Uh -huh. Maybe okay. one on one on ten. All right. But okay. it's but it's uh, given that the Salvador is a small country, we don't right. have more chances to work in another. I mean, right. So few there are few courses, few people, few few jobs. Okay, I get Thanks it. Thanks to God, I, I still have the job. Right, yes, very uh -huh. good. It was <laughs> worth it, Oscar. Very good. All right, very nice. What about, um, let me see, uh, Norma, what about the assets that you bring to the company, Norma? You as Norma Araceli, like what are the assets that you bring into the company to make your job better, to make the company better? Well, uh, depending the area we develop. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, I started with a, a supervisor okay. in production area. In this case, the requirement is industrial engineer. Okay. And then uh, the, the, um, the asset was a... Um, a graduate uh, degree, the degree, professional mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. in this area, uh, intermediately English level. Oh, okay. Then, uh, no required experience, but uh, the company training in early, in early six months. Okay. More or less. And then uh, teaching and don and all that that uh, process. Mm -hmm. But uh, if as a personality, mm -hmm. you need to 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 make a punctual responsibility, mm -hmm. and apply in the in the knowledge they gives they gave, mm -hmm. and also uh, start to learn uh, sewing, oh. and industrial machinery, mm -hmm. different operations. And do you I know how I, to, Norma? Yes, teacher. Oh, I really? When I, when I started, I never did to touch a, <laughs> a, a, sewing, a sewing machine. machine. Oh. I, uh, in, uh, in that company, I need to learn. Oh, to my goodness, learn Norma. That all the operation because Okay. I open a new a new fabric and oh, a uh, factory. I, yeah, a new factory. Yeah, when I, I hire I hire uh, not having an, any operator, only a staff manager. Okay. And then uh, teaching in all the process uh -huh. and when hire the new people, right? Uh, everyone uh -huh. uh, invest in time to teach another person. Okay. And I, I make all the process. Uh, wow. Select the people. Okay. Uh, training the people. Uh, teach to, to, to show everyone. And uh, follow up the, the, up the people in efficiency uh -huh. and quality and productivity too. Okay. And then uh, the, the work was very hard. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, all day to do, I, I, I stayed, stayed uh, uh, 
or to say de pie? Standing up. Standing up every day. Wow. Only, only mm -hmm. sit when I take a, a meal. Your lunch. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. The breakfast uh, in the lunch. All right. And then the other time, uh, wait, uh, wake up. Uh, and also, uh, we are wake up very early because I, the requirement was to start after, no, before the people intro. Oh my goodness. The schedule was at 7 a.m. to 40, 30 p.m. Okay. And I, I remember I started in the company 6.30 o'clock at the morning. But oh. uh, we, we uh, if you like it, the work, you yeah. start in there. And I yeah. like it. All right. Yes, I know you like it, Normita. <laughs> Very good. Interesting. Very nice. All right. Eric, Mauricio, yesterday we were talking about assets, like personal assets or personal traits that you as a person, as an individual, you have. And today we're relating those assets to like, what do you bring to your workplace and to your job to make it better? All right. So can you mention like, or can you share with us some of the assets that you think you have as an individual? that you bring into the job? Well, um, my job is, uh, requires a lot of, um, a lot of analytics. Mm -hmm. but it's, a, it's a very numeric position. All right. It requires a lot of uh, analytics and, and have to be very, um, I don't know how to say, meticuloso. I don't know, very like picky, very like on the like detailed things. Yes, yes. Very okay. detailed. Okay. Yes, that's uh, uh and, and well, uh, for example, we uh, the position is uh, very standard in all banks. All banks have the same department and the same uh, the the activities are similar. Okay. It's, uh, so. Uh, requires uh, accounting okay requires an, a numeric analytics like i said right and okay. and being very uh oh well you have to you you must have um customer service but for internal okay department. all right okay i see because, because our area is a support area for the business Mm -hmm. So we have to we have to think uh, in order to to support the the, the business areas and mm -hmm. support and 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 also uh, um, ma uh, manage the 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 risk or handle the risk okay. for the for the for the for the position. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. So in other words, uh, that that would be like, like the duties or responsibilities that you have at your workplace. So in other words, you as a person, Eric, you need to be like you need to know how to solve conflict, for example. Yes, a lot. All right, very good. All right, is teamwork part of it also? Yes, because we have to think uh, in in. Uh, we have to think or or see the the whole company, not only mm. my position. Okay. We have All right. To, okay. Uh, All right. Interesting. And I guess like a lot of responsibility, honesty has to go with it, because I mean correct. you deal with money in a way. All right. In many ways. All right. So I in think that yeah, that has to be one of a huge asset. All right. Okay. Correct. Honestly. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not kidding. All right, very good. Thank you. Guillermo, hello. Nice to see you. Nice to have you in class. All right, very good. Uh, let me see. Verito, what about you, Verito? What are the assets that you as a person bring in to the company? For example, in my in my own experiences, mm -hmm. first of all, uh, I have to be a honest, 
honest person mm -hmm. and professional. I have to be a public accountant. Okay. For my for my area, but right. in the company we have different areas. Okay. And but the majority have to be a or have to have a bachelor degree in, ah, okay. for example, in administration, accountant. Okay. And we have a the legal or law department. Okay. But the the I forgot. How do you say happy? Your boss, the boss, the, the chief, boss. Mm -hmm. the boss. The boss have to be a, a bachelor degree in in laws. Mm. Okay. Yes, and they don't. Sometimes they don't require experiences. For example, for the uh, executive business or business executive executive they don't require experiences because okay. they train ah. the, the person yes. all right and, they okay. teach. and the 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 person learn uh, the standards the normals politicals okay all right uh, policies the business. Yes. okay about all the right. business, business okay. of the company but first it all has you say before uh, the person has to be honest right okay yes now but thank you yes very is, but but i think uh, this is some characters that don't you can measure right okay yes in, in, in the beginning you can make you can make measure but during the process mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, you are, you realize if the person is honest or not. Yes. All right, very good. Very good. All right, guys, do you think that at, like we here in this class, we have 15 people already, and we all have different jobs, all right? Now, do you think that honesty is an asset that everybody needs to have? It doesn't matter of the type of job you make. Is honesty a big asset that we need to have in our jobs or, or does it depend on the type of job that we do? Or just because Eric deals with money, he's the only one that needs to be honest? Or does, do everybody, I mean, do all of us need to be honest? What do you think? Everybody, teacher. Yeah, Moises? I think, okay. I think, you know, I think we don't have honest, honest, we don't have to be honest not only for not only to when you are at work mm -hmm. you have to be honest personal, everywhere personal, <laughs> everywhere yes all right okay all right all right very good now everybody did i mean as i said before we are 15 different jobs here uh, do we have to like have teamwork skills for the jobs that we perform? Is it teamwork skills important for the jobs that we do or not really? For every job, it's uh, teamwork is. Okay. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must. Okay. And also, the, as you said, the honesty. All right, okay. You, now, we have to relate uh -huh. to many people. Right, you know, okay. Places. So we had to um, right. get along and work together. Right. Okay. Now, do do you guys think that we, as a culture, as Salvadorians, do we have teamwork skills? Really, like, really, honestly speaking, are we like team players or not? Really? I think uh, sometimes we have. Uh -huh. but Other times, no. <laughs> Not always because uh, some people find uh, I have to say sobresalir. Yeah, they need uh, to stand out. Stand out. Because they, they find have a better position and uh -huh. they don't have the other uh, co-workers if mm -hmm. you you can do that. So, uh, and in other case uh, we have uh, different employees or 
different persons who's working for uh, different companies who can work in, in teams mm -hmm. uh, because the company uh, is a, okay, uh, it's an obligation mm -hmm. from the company uh, yeah, and your results depend on the old teamwork. Okay. For example, in the in restaurants, for example, sometimes mm -hmm. or and in some case in uh, department stores. Right. For example. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Is teamwork does teamwork really exist in El Salvador? I think sometimes, but not always. <laughs> of course, All right. our culture tends to be a little selfish sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, and everybody wants to standing out and it doesn't matter how or wow. yeah sometimes i right. think it, yeah. it, it, it's a, it's a fact it's a reality on the right. on the the jobs all right true very good all right thank you eric anybody else sometimes I think are... the, the, for natural we we're not working in 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 teamwork, uh -huh. but when the companies realize that part is very important, uh -huh. they invest it to yeah. teach to all the people in training to uh -huh. make that type of work. Okay. And many many companies uh, give a, a team building uh -huh. training. Okay. And and, and see, with that uh, training. The people know uh, better as others okay. and have a better idea about the needs and, mm -hmm. and for a uh, strength, okay. strength, strength, strength abilities, and uh, recognize better that behavior for everyone. Okay. And for and then in in that way, we learn to work in teams. Okay. All right, I see. What about in education, Jesse and Ellie? You guys are teachers in schools. Does teamwork really exist? Not all, I'm not talking about your school in a specific. I'm talking about in your area. Does teamwork really exist in um, teaching? I think that yes, teacher. All right. Uh, it is is really important the teamwork okay because because um because we help help us right between between you help between each all other. the all the all the co-workers okay all right is um in the in the college on the school in mm -hmm. I am, I am work different different school. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have in work. All right. Very good. Thank you, Ellie. And in your case, Jesse, teamwork in schools. Yes, it's so important necessary. For example, in my school, when the teacher is a new teacher, uh -huh. uh, I get a uh, introduction for the teaching right. class. Okay. For example, I teach how to make planning class mm -hmm. and I teach how to make be the relationship with the with the classmate. Did the new people know that throughout that in the like the business thing for the for they I change that kind of thinking about the, the business. All right. Now that all their people have, and the most important thing is the behavior for the people have. The behavior, okay. Then, yeah, the behavior. Then to the, they are believing people. That they have to be believing God and believing in the right thing. I mean. mm. And another area that they have to be is the. The studies can be this obligation that they have to have the kind of Right. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. What a, 
Okay. What about Jose Luis, Henry, and Moises? Do you guys work in a hotel? Is teamwork really happening in the hotel or in the hotel industry? All right. Because you are involved in, in all the hotel and you want to do a lot of things uh, with your co worker in order to help to the guests. Mm -hmm. You need to have a good thing working because it is very, very necessary. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Yeah, I was asking this because remember that one of the assets or one of the characteristics of millennials that we were reading and we were studying like previously, hi, Silvita, is that millennials, they are, they tend to like to work on like in teams. All right different a little bit different than generation x that they tend to be a little bit more individual all right but at the end of the day we all know that if we work in teams it works better all right and the result the end result is better not only for the company not only for someone but for everyone all right but we need to believe it works otherwise as williams and as eric said there are always people that they want to stand out and they will do just about anything to achieve that, all right? To get to that specific one. They lose track of the team building or the team uh, skills that we need to have and, and that it makes um, every, like to have a win-win situation at the end of the day. But again, we always face people that are like that. I think in every company, in every type of job, we can always find special people, all right, that they don't really like to work in teams, all right, but we need to change that because I believe that we believe that teamwork is the best way to do things, all right, because it's a win, it should be a win-win situation. All right, guys, with that in mind, uh, who just got in here? I just saw someone getting in. can't remember who it was. All right, ah, Silvita just got in, right? Hi, Silvita, how are you? All right, guys, with that in mind, I have this here. We're going to talk about this right now. Just let me just get it here. All right. So today and the whole week, we have been talking about two generations, and I have included the baby boomers generation also, because I, as I said, uh, there are baby boomers still at our workplaces. All right. So I think we need to take them into account. Because here we're not only talking about just Gen X or Gen Y at a workplace, we're talking about different generations. And even the newest generation that is not even millennial anymore, we may have people that are just 20 years old, 19 years old, maybe it's their first job, and they're not millennials anymore. They are the newest generation at the workforce, uh, all right? So it is important to know that there is a gap. Do you guys understand the meaning of gap? It's not the, the marca, right? But do you, rem do you know the meaning of gap? Yeah? Who can tell me what a gap is, guys? Gap in Spanish is a... Uh, in Spanish is brecha. Yeah, right. In, in the... Yes. In this case, the generation is gap. Right. All right. So there's a space, all right? Like a space between a generation and empty space between a generation and the other one the previous generation and the follow or the next generation in this case we're trying to bridge the gap when you when we say bridge the gap is to like so we can unite it all right so we can delete the gap all right between baby boomers gen x and gen y and even the newer generation but right now we're concentrating on Gen X, Gen Y, and baby boomers. So there are efforts and there are ways that we can think of to eliminate or to bridge the gap, all right? So the first thing that I wanna show you here, just let me uh, see if where I have it before we actually do it here. Hold on. Just give me a second guys, I can make it better for you. All right, so this is what I want us to work on right now, guys. Uh, I'm gonna send you right now for like, I don't know, 
for a couple of minutes to your groups and I want you to answer these questions together, all right? And these are the questions that I want you to take a picture of and uh, talk about it, all right? The first one is, I'm just gonna put this here, hold on. The first question is, can the generation gap be bridged, all right? Can be omitted, can be fulfilled? Maybe not omitted, but can, you, can, can we like fulfill it? Because remember that a gap is a space, an empty space. So can the generation gap be bridged? How do you bridge the gap between generations, all right? So if you answer, yeah, I think generation gap can be bridged, uh -huh, but how? How can you do that, right? What is the gap between generations? I want you to think about these three generations, baby boomers, X generation, and Y generation, all right? So think about when, if I'm working with Normita, then I'm thinking, okay, we are thinking with Norma, how can we, uh, what is the gap between baby boomers and Gen X? All right, and then we have these uh, ideas. And what is the gap between a Gen X and Gen Y? All right, and then we have these ideas. Remember that that's why we have study characteristics and traits of these uh, different generations. So now we can say, ah, okay, so I remember that baby boomers are not tech savvy. All right, so that, that is a gap between generations, for example, all right? So that's why the other classes or when we have been talking about the characteristics are like necessary to get to this point, all right? And the last question, how does generation gap affect and does it affect it in a positive way or in a negative way, all right? So these are the four questions that I want you to think about, to talk about, and then we're coming back we share the ideas and it's gonna be almost time to take the second attendance, all right? Did you take a picture, guys, of this? Yeah? Yes. A picture? All right, perfect. I'm gonna stop sharing, all right? Oh my goodness, I like to see a lot of people in class today. Excellent, tomorrow we need to be here, all right? Nobody can say no, all right? <laughs> Williams, don't make that face, Williams. Come on, Williams, be nice, behave. The last day tomorrow. Make me happy, make me proud tomorrow, right? <laughs> Everyone, not only Williams, of course. There we go. You may go to your groups now, guys.
Okay. So the other for, one is. For, yeah, for me is a, it's a, it's a, and different, and different uh, situation. Uh, but and uh, they have a only only end. Mm -hmm. And when when working in the in the different area, uh, yeah. the boss uh, give a, a cumplir. No sé qué la palabra cumplir. Mm -hmm. Comply Objet or? objectives, objectives, uh objectives, -huh. objectives, uh, objectives, objectives, uh -huh. objectives, and that generation and different process uh, for and the 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 words or the objectives, objectives, I, I, I think. Okay. How does the generation gap uh, affect society? Well, for me, the generational gaps, um, how to say in a society, it's a matter of uh, maybe like a public uh, policies. Um, because in one hand you have to, you have the one the generation, the younger generations are, are strong. Uh, young people uh, is, is winning money, but in, in the other hand, there are many old people and, uh -huh. and they, they they want to retire or maybe don't, they don't retire with enough money and so many things that uh, that the, uh, the it depends on the how the the country uh, looks for how to say if if you are in a developed in a developed country in a, uh, they will uh, they actually have plans for for retire people plans for for the for the own social i mean social plan public policies for these people that is uh, uh, given the advance of the of technologies and information and um, and also for the age they protect their people but uh, this is uh, in countries like it's savage it's, it's savage i mean it's, it's the jungle i mean everything is uh, is cannibalizing each other Mm -hmm. So the 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 gap uh, um, the generation gaps affects more the underdeveloped countries. Oh, yeah, it's my opinion. It's my opinion. But it's just is that is society. It's, it's, it's not a joke. Uh -huh. Yeah, affect the society. Mm -hmm. Yes, you 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 your opinion is different, in Fox. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh, different uh -huh. focus, uh -huh. because uh -huh. the question is kind of is not related to a job. I think the question is uh -huh. very general to a society. Sí. Yes, yes, I, uh, I, so, I know, no, no things for, for this. Uh -huh. In, in this El Salvador, people. there's no education for young people. I mean, I mean the old. Old people doesn't want uh, millennials. I mean, the, the <laughs> X generation, X yep. generation, sometimes doesn't want millennials to succeed. On mm -hmm. the other hand, the millennials are crew with the old people. Yeah. And they, 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 uh, they will be, I don't want to say cannibalize. They will, <laughs> they will, uh, I, I want to find a, a word. They don't respect old people. They will bully them? They, uh, bully them. Yeah. We even worse, even yeah. worse. Yeah. They we wanted to 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 be fired from, from the from the job. Right. Yeah. So this is a Salvadorian Salvadorian behavior. It's a third world behavior. Yeah. It's a third world savage. behavior. So uh -huh, it's savage. savage. It's a jungle uh -huh. out there. I have the chance to be in, in more countries and right. to see. Yeah. Yeah. And to see that 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 the young people respect mm -hmm. even they if 
if they are more learned than uh, than old people, right? They respect that people and they uh, take care of each other, right? I seen yeah. in El Salvador, young people wanted to to get fire and an right. old pal. I mean, an right. old uh, old friend. Co-worker. I mean, people a coworker who is old or, or right. who who is getting they, they don't help. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's about our society. Yeah, it's about yeah. our culture. I think. So yeah, that's why a country has to have a social social. Work. No, I mean mm-hmm. public policies. Mm-hmm. and social uh, infrastructure or social well i miss the words because i don't work on that but uh, it's interesting interesting for me okay uh, i don't have the the, the camera yeah you see it's, yes. it's, it's important it's an interesting for me but it, this um i don't it's not my my job and all my right but i acknowledge <laughs> that i acknowledge right. i read i see i watch news and i see many things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know what I feel, uh, Guillermo and uh-huh. Oscar, is that sometimes millennials, they tend to humiliate the mm-hmm. older peers. All right. And mm-hmm. I think that's w- related to what you were saying is they, they become savage, you know, they bully people. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't think it's fair. It's not fair. I, um, maybe... Well, a long time ago, I was in Taiwan, okay, in Asia. I went there to do a, a pasantia. How do you say pasantia? In internship. 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 Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. internship. I did take an internship, and the young people take care of the old people. Right. As a team work, mm-hmm. if they are not useful, <laughs> they keep them there and okay. they use them. I mean. They are, they have a meaning for their life, their, their life. So millennials are not willing to, but it's cultural. Right, yeah, it is. Cultural, they, they protect the, themselves. They yeah. protect themselves. To, to I, think, foreign people. Uh-huh. I, I think, Oscar and Guillermo, I think that's why these countries grow so much. Uh, because they do work in teams, all right? Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. why I was asking earlier in class if we actually working teams and i believe i strongly believe and just like oscar was saying i i have also had the opportunity to be in other countries all right and i grew up in another country so it's very different and i feel that yes. these people they are very united and that's why they grow as a country but here salvadorians we step on anybody to get <laughs> higher on the ladder all right, I don't care if I'm going to step on you. I don't care if I'm going to step on Oscar. I want to get to that job position, for example, and I do whatever it takes. All right, so we are very, like, selfish, as Oscar was saying earlier. Mm-hmm. We believe, like, we just care about us. Not all of us, of course, but many of us. And I think it happens in every, in every job. And we see it, you know, sometimes... For example, we go to like, let's say Metro Centro or somewhere and you see mm-hmm. someone that has parked not properly and he's taking two spaces, all right? This person is selfish. They don't care about if someone else is going to need a parking spot, you know? They just park and they don't care, all right? So you see that on those little details, imagine in a workplace that you want to get another position that you want to get more money that you want to be like recognized well that's a nice music here <laughs> okay so this is my home <laughs> no one they're watching videos and yeah. some, sometimes are dancing at this time oh, this, is, goodness, right. this is the, the relax yeah, no this is relax. the <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay. So I, I think, I mean, we are not really like teamwork. We're not team players. Mm-hmm. Salvadorians are not team players. And especially... Yeah. Teacher. Yes, Guillermo. I have a, a opportunity mm-hmm. um, live for one month mm-hmm. Japanese culture. Cool. Nice. Okay. And uh, uh, United States. Okay. Uh, but it's it's a uh, very nice. Uh, but when go back Salvador, mm-hmm. I 
I make uh, different activities for I live in, in the seminary. Okay. But in the, the people Salvador in Salvador mm -hmm. is very influenced. No sé cómo se influenced. Dice. Influenced. influenced, yes, influenced. influenced. But you say this is a activity for the Japanese. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a it's a activity normally in, mm. in, in, the, <laughs> in the country. Right. Uh, for but is the education for That's the right. people mm. different values. That's right. And um, skill. Right. Uh, for example, and, in my in my job, uh, mm -hmm. is very important uh, the service. Okay. And for me, the service uh, help uh, to work team, mm -hmm. or teamwork. Yeah. But it's a uh, very important make uh, different objectives mm -hmm. right. for the company. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's, 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 I agree with you that the object, the company objectives are there. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, they must unify. That's unify. right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, right. You're right. I I, I agree with what you what you were saying here. Right. Uh -huh. Right. But you know what? I think. I mean, there's so much that a company can do. All right, and there are very good companies out there that they they do believe in teamwork and they do believe in uniting everyone and bringing everybody together and bridging those gaps that we have but i think most important everything goes down to education it is the very mm -hmm. beginning all right because it's hard to change a millennial that is like already what happened to the previous 29 years yeah. all right what happened to a baby boomer that he's 55 60 what happened to the previous 50 years all right so a lot of okay. it is like education also and and education, not only in the family education, but also in school education. Our school system sucks. All right, our, our school but, system but lacks of in, many things. In this moment, uh, I think that education is a uh, step, big step, mm -hmm. uh, because the use of technology, all. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was telling uh, Guillermo, okay? Yeah. I was telling Guillermo that the, their, this characteristic, I mean, this is a misuse of the, the millennials are technologically savvy. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are uh, IT <laughs> technologically savvy because they are good at smartphones. Right. And any media, any communication technology. Right. But there are many 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 i mean there are many technology that they don't know right so i i think is 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 a misuse of that word all right maybe because it's a stereotype you, 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 you tend, know Oscar. you tend to believe uh, you tend to believe uh, how can it does a millennial how to fix a car i mean they know how to to work in a on a hydroelectrical right dam right or they don't uh -huh. it's, it's just a, a mindset mm -hmm. And no matter how millennial you are, you have to to get some scholar. Uh, I mean, some some university level. Yeah, like higher university. education. A high. Uh, you have to have a yeah. high education to to get a job and, and right. to get in the involved. Everyone see. Everyone has a phone. Everyone has a computer. Everyone is good. So right. they are better, maybe. Right. The millennials are better, but everyone has. I mean, everyone <laughs> does and has. Yeah. And even my mom is. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Oscar. Tell me, my mom is, is better than me on Facebook sending. Right. Sending oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> so, so many things. And she mm. communicates. She, she, she said, I was born. I was a worried person. Uh, a half worried person. Mm -hmm. She decided to communicate to my daughters only because. I don't know that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so yeah. everyone does. I'm trying right. to say that that um, 
it's a we have to see that there is there is more than information to know. Right. Of course, it's important. Of course, but there is yeah. more than that. There is more than right. that. Right. Yeah, I agree with you totally. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now, guys, I need to take attendance, and then we're gonna yeah. discuss the questions together in the group. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Thank, Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. All right, guys, I think everybody is coming back. Can What can we uh, say about the first question, guys? Can the generation gap be bridged? I just want you to tell me yes or no. Can generations gap be bridged? Yes or no. What do you think, Normita? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Then we'll, we'll talk about the how later. Elizabeth del Carmen, can generation gap be bridged? Yes or no? It depends, teacher. It depends. It oh, depends. all right. Okay. Okay. Hold it there. Don't don't tell me more. Just wait there. Very good. Eric Mauricio, what do you think? Uh, generation gap can be bridged? Yes, no, or depends. <laughs> yes, yes, can be bridged. It can be bridged, right? Yes. Thank you, Eric. Jesse, what do you think? Yes, it can be bridged. All right, very good. Yes. I All right, okay, very good. Guillermo, what do you think? Generation gap can be bridged, yes or no? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Oscar, what do you say? Oscarito, your mic is off. <laughs> okay, the gen okay, the can it be bridged? The generational generation generational gap can be bridged in a company by making rules clear. All right. Well, wait, 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 because, wait, wait. Uh, don't, wait, don't tell me the how yet. Don't tell me uh, the okay. how yet. Only tell me uh, like yes. yes or no. Yes, yeah, sure. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes very yes. good. All right. Irene, what about you? What do you think? Generational gap can be bridged? Yes or no? We can, teacher. Yes, all right, very good. Thank you. Silvita, what do you say? I think it depends. Ah, also depends. All right, Silvia, thank yes. you. All right, Verito, what do you say? Yes, no, or depends? <laughs> I think um, yes, but I think it probably could be uh, difficult. Ah, okay, and all right. In the end, I think. It depends too. It depends too. All right, very good. Nubia yes. Celi, what is what do you say? Generational gap can be bridged, yes or no? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, Jenny. Yes, teacher, if possible. All right, very good. Thank you. Jose Luis, what do you say? Yes, can be bridged. All right, thank you. Moises. Yes, it can be. All right, very good. Gerardo, what do you say? Yes. Okay. Williams, generational gap can be bridged, yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right, very yes. good. Oh, my goodness, very good. Henry Del Cid, what do you say? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. And Ellie, yes or no? Generational gap can be bridged? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Okay, don't lose the train of thought, okay? Now we're going to talk about the how, pero primero tengo que tomar asistencia. All right, very good. All right, so okay. let's see here. <laughs> All right, uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larín Chavez. Present teacher. Eric, thank you. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. Present teacher. Henry Vladimir Tepas. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Hey, what happened to Dianita? Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. 
Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Williams. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Williams. Uh, Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present. Present. Thank you. Yes. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Hello. Present. Present. Williams, yes, we hear you. Thank I'm so sorry, you. I had a problem with my connection. Oh I'm my goodness, so you said present when Irene is, it was Irene's turn, all right? <laughs> that sounded funny, that's okay. Guillermo Antonio May Escobar, I'm sorry, Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Thank you. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lizette Soto Serna. Present. Very good. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Nubia. All right, guys. So now you can tell me the how. So we can like remember what it's what is asking and says how do you bridge the gap between generations? Now I want to know how for Elizabeth for I think it was Nuvia and I think Verito you girls told me depends. All right, depends on what I want to know. What does it what does it depend on? Uh huh. For the girls that told me that depends. We want to hear because, you. Uh -huh. Because different generations have their own, they own ways to think. Okay. All right. And sometimes there are persons who are close minded. Close minded? Okay. And, and it's difficult to change that, that way. They think. Yes. All right. But if but I think too, if all the people try to understand and, and the different and different groups, uh -huh. the person try to understand them, uh -huh. it probably we can bridge the gap. Yes. All right. Okay. I hear you, Silvita. You were also uh, one I of the girls. Uh -huh, that said depends. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was working with Veronica and we talk about the reason. I, I in the first time I I was I say yes, but uh -huh. when they talk about this, I consider that reason and I agree with the shiver. All right. And I think there are some characteristics there are difference between the generation mm -hmm. in maybe sometimes it's uh, for that reason it depends. In more of the cases, it's possible, but sometimes can be. It possible. can. All right. Okay. Okay. I see. Very good. And Elizabeth del Carmen, why did you tell us that it depends on something? Uh, yes, teacher. I say it depends because the generation gap is the different opinion that mm -hmm. the other generation, for example. Uh, the generation Y and generation X is a different, not only opinion, is, is, uh, is two different people, mm -hmm. different people. Um, uh, for example, in any companies, uh, they, they, they using, uh, for example, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Innovar. They innovate? Inno innovate. What? Innovate. They innovate uh, your brand, your mark, brand, mark? Yeah, mm -hmm. your brand. Uh, your brand. Uh, the social media is mm -hmm. important. Okay. Uh, because, because, uh, this is a reason that I say is the pen. Okay. 
All right, very good. Okay. Now, for the for the rest of us that said that yeah, we believe that the generational gap can be bridged. How? How can we bridge it, guys? How? Uh huh. Tell me now the how. Everyone, tell me the how. Uh huh. Maybe. Oh. All right. Uh huh. Well, I think the the respect <coughs> is the key. The respect. Uh, it, is key. All right. Yes. Uh, it, each generation has uh, strengths and weakness. That's right. And the, the 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 key is to take the the best of each generation. Okay. And combine it and okay. uh, for forget uh, uh, the better skills or or the better. Uh, way to do the best way to do a, a job or a okay. task okay okay very good so the key for you eric is respect respect that's yes. the how okay, so, has good okay. things and and other things that the the probably don't like everybody but are good things too all right. Okay. Very good. So we can bridge the gap by res being respectful with each other. Very good. All right. Yeah. Very good. Any, uh, any you're saying yes with what Eric was yes, saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. The, I think uh, I think uh, the same, but uh, it is possible because uh, we need to respect the ideas or opinions the of each one in the team. Okay. Uh, we need, we try to make uh, every effort uh, for to achieve the goals, and, and sometimes uh, need find the mm -hmm. best way for mm -hmm. every uh, to every to to each one uh, to world uh, in the team okay yep all right yes. very good all right very good okay what about the rest of you guys here with you guys for telling me, me. uh-huh yes gerardo for me teacher the communication oh. between the generations okay now maybe uh -huh. yeah, go maybe ahead. when the generation baby boomer y x recognize each other the skills and be life and and I agree with the with the Eric and, and Jennifer the respect okay okay yeah. very good all right interesting now besides uh, Eric saying and Jennifer talking about respect Gerardo adds another key component which would be communication all right so we're talking about Respect and communication are key to bridge the gap. Very good. What else, guys? Interesting. Nice. Hey, teacher. I think it is necessary to know the differences about mm. each communication, the different characteristics that they have. Okay. Because when you know the characteristics the last generation with the next generation, you can mix in all the characteristics and be a a good way to make a good relationship between the different generations. But when you don't know okay. the roof of the people provide, I don't know, you don't you didn't make good relationship with another people. Right. That's the reason that is so necessary know the different characteristics that people have. Okay. That's All right. Good. All right. Very good. So here we're talking about respect. We're talking about communication. We're talking about knowing the different characteristics from like different generations. All right? So like we can say about backgrounds and characteristics. All right. What else? How else can we bridge the gap? Teach. Yes. Uh, uh, I think uh, speaking ideas. Uh-huh. I'm wearing in, in my clear objectives. Okay. All right. Okay. Also, also open mind. 
Mm -hmm. um, teamwork. Excellent. All right. So we're not only talking about respect, communication, knowing characteristics. We're talking about being open-minded. All right. We're talking also about teamwork. All right. Very nice. What else, guys? Thank you, Guillermo. Very nice. Uh -huh. What about the rest of you guys? In my opinion, I was saying that uh, in a company to, mm -hmm. to, bridge the, to bridge the gap, you have to make the rules clear. Okay. Yeah. Um, in, mm. in many ways, I mean, there are unions. Yes. Um, and there's also the 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 Ministerio de Trabajo. I mean, the, also the, the, um, there are many law written law about uh, your your workplace and also how do you say reglamentos este, the rules the, and the, the policies uh -huh. the policies within the company mm -hmm. All right. so if you have clear objectives right and, and you have those those clear you rules uh-huh and you have defined the 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 so. functions como es manual de puestos el, el, everybody's uh, responsibility or function mm -hmm. uh, it will be less uh, less uh, how to say conflict or there will be a bridge between those gaps right because okay. it's just a behavior code all right it's a behavior code uh, maybe i'm talking about inside a company right inside okay a company you have a behavior code and outside even outside some companies are aware if you take a, a, some selfies or if you are uh, using some uh, the company brand uh, um, logo, how do you say that? The company, if you are misusing the company brand. So I think so. All right, uh, interesting. All right, very good. Thank you. Hi, Eric Diaz. Oh, we have Eric Diaz also in class. Very nice. Así tiene que estar mañana, más lleno todavía. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see who else. Uh, any other opinion about how we can, the how, how can we bridge the gap between generations? We have mentioned respect, communication, knowing characteristics. We have talked about being uh, like team players, knowing the values and the objectives of the company. All right, what else? Me, teacher. Yes, Irene. Okay, uh, we can brush the generation gap respecting to each generation. Okay. Because everyone has particular characteristics and right. are unique. Right. But for me, other thing is necessary is the compression. Is the what? Compression. Comprehension. Like understanding, like comprehension. Comprehension. Okay. Comunication. She wants to open. All right, Irene. Okay. The comprehension for me is necessary. Too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very Teacher, good. Teacher, yes. the platform, the platform to say uh, the set up expectations. 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 Uh huh. Early, and they keep. Keep communication open. Right, yes. All right. That's a right. Yeah, very good, Elizabeth. Wow. As a member, a leader. Okay. Yes, very good. Yeah. There, Normita, you've been so quiet, Normita. What the how, Normita? How can we bridge the gap? You know, I listen for the. the, the <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, teacher, I, I think in the, the another form is when the. One generation needs to teach the other generation mm -hmm. because in that relation, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. any generation need to to force to know the other. Okay. The, the weakness and for the for the strength. All right. In that that uh, relation, has a, a result a comprehension, respect. Uh, understand better. Right. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Anybody else? Williams, have you mentioned yes. anything? Uh -huh. yes, Any? hello. Cari I uh, Jenny. That... I I William lost. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Williams. Tell us something, Williams. 
I'm so sorry, but I have a lot of problems with my connection. Can you hear me now? I can hey, hear you perfectly. <laughs> okay. Yes. I have problem with my Wi-Fi connection. I have problem with my mobile connection. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> I am not sure about this. But no, I can hear you right now very well. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, um, so I think about this topic, uh, that I don't have a, a specific word, but I have a way for that. Uh, for example, uh, people who are in, in a gap generation, they can have a different generation and they can have a knowledge about the before generation and the after generation between the two, between they are. So yeah, they can learn about the, the past generation and about the future generation what he or, or she uh, have. All right, all right, very good. I see, very nice, interesting. Thank you, Williams, very good. Elia, I don't know if you wanted to say something. Jorge Enrito, Moises, Vero, Nubia. Well, Verito already I, said it. Can yes. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you really well. I, I believe, teacher, the gap generation can Eli, se nos fue Eli. Mm. Yes, All she's right. gone. Yeah, she's gone. All right, maybe Moises or the or a um, Jose Luis or anybody wanna say something else before I show you something. Hi. Maybe teacher, when they are uh, learning uh, or trying this the new skill. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, these are some of the, um, not tips, but some efforts to bridge the generations. All right, that is like, I thought it was like interesting. Some of them do relate to what you were saying. All right, so I think it's nice to, um, it's nice to share those same ideas that you guys had, all right? So here, for example, I'm going to show you this. We're going to talk about the, the gap between generations a little bit later. I don't know. Solo, hágame un favor. Hay un micrófono que está abierto y hay como ruidito por ahí un poquito. All right. A ver, it says efforts to bridge the generation gap. So we have some efforts. All right. Number one is establish common ground. This relates to what of you, like so what some of you were saying to set rules, to set objectives, so everyone understands them and everyone follows them and everyone like believes on them and they work around that, all right? Common grounds to have like, you know, the same, everyone is working towards the same objective, towards the same goals, towards the same uh, benefit of the company uh, to this point, all right? leverage each individual strengths all right so as someone was also saying as some of you were saying every generation has a strength every generation has weaknesses we need to take advantage of those all right in a good way all right so if i have the advantage of being tech, tech savvy why not me teach someone else that is not so tech savvy for example if i love to work teams and i have this team play like you know these team skills teamwork skills why not make everyone get involved in these kind of things all right so it's very it's it, it would be nice for you to enhance for you to promote the strengths of everyone all right not just because you are a baby boomer or a gen x or a gen y it doesn't mean you don't have strengths everybody does all right for every generation we can talk about the latest generation to the earliest generation and every generation, every individual has strengths, all right? Another one is conduct regular performance conversation, all right? This is something that you guys also mentioned, all right? Communication, conversations to like within the workplace. Sometimes what we lack of is we lack of communication. We lack of communication at home. We lack of communication with our friends. 
with our family members, with relatives, with co-workers. Y ahí se da el misunderstanding, all right? Because there is not communication flowing, all right? Maybe I said something and Jennifer thought I said something else. But then Jennifer doesn't come and say, Jessica, can you explain what you said? All right? No. Then Jennifer says, ah, eso dijo Jessica, so now I don't like her. All right, but maybe I didn't mean it that way. Maybe I didn't want her, I didn't want to hurt her feelings. All right, so we need to communicate. We need to have conversations about performance in this case because we are all working for the same company. All right, as we were talking earlier, that, that is why teamwork is so important and is the base of everything. All right, because at the end of the day, Everybody is working, not everybody, but in the, for, to say something, everybody is working to improve SEPA, where, uh, where Oscar is working for the benefit of the, uh, the Cameron Hotel. Everybody's working for these schools uh, benefit, all right? So all of us that we work in a company, we're working towards something for the company. The performance for us should be important and we need to communicate about that and on those grounds. Create mentorship opportunities, something that you also got, that you guys also mentioned, all right? So if I can teach someone else, I should do it. If someone else can teach me or mentor me, all right, that would be beneficial to the company, to you as an individual, to you as an employee, to you as a general manager, to you as the sales representative, to you as the secretary, to you as a teacher, all right? So it's about having those opportunities to teach within each other, all right? To teach uh, one another. And also here, provide a variety of communication channels, all right? If you know, and this is also some of, uh, something that you guys mentioned, we, it's really important to know the characteristics of every generation, all right? I don't know if you guys did this before, uh, like what we have been studying for this past week and two weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if you actually knew about the skills or characteristics or stereotypes about baby boomers, about Gen X, about Gen Y. But I think it's really important because in our workplaces, and I asked you this question before, it, what is like what generations are at your workplace? And most of our jobs, we included baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Y. All right. So these are the generations that are working right now. Okay. So not everybody communicates the same. So communication is important. It's also important to have communication channels. So everyone is at the same level. Everyone is at the same pace. Everyone is working for the same objective, for the same uh, company at the end of the day, all right? So I think those, these things that we have here, along with what you guys mentioned, respect, communication, uh, knowing characteristics, sharing, all right? Those are very important. And I think if we do them, all right, then the generation gap would disappear or get like it, it would minimize, all right, to a, like a very low level. And I think that's the key of it. I don't know if you guys, uh, what, what you guys think about this um, five ideas I had here. I don't know if you guys want to say something about them or if you agree or disagree. Tell me why or why not. Just one. <laughs> okay. The character is positive. I don't understand what you're saying, Ellie, because you're breaking up. Mm. Eh, uh, we want to say the character the character is or positive or negative no i was i mean i'm not really asking right now about the characteristics of the generations i'm asking if what i just show you uh, makes sense to you or you agree or not with the the five things i showed you mm -hmm. disagree 
Okay. All right. Me teacher. Yes, Silvita. Uh, we have Vero. We talk about uh, the first uh, uh, efforts that you talk about establish common ground. Okay. We talk about this and that uh, it's important to the people working in in a common objective or goal in the company or your life too. Right. Family too. Mm -hmm. We talk about uh, to the communication. It's important right. to have a agreements, agreement or be compromised with mm -hmm. we the the that agreements for okay. to have a better uh, relationship or better uh, uh, place uh, uh, work in the place. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Very okay. good. Thank you, Silvia. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, we're, I'm gonna keep on sharing my screen here. And I just, we're gonna read together, all right, about these efforts, all right? So this is, the number one is this one, Establish Common Grounds. Eric Mauricio, do you mind reading this for us, please? Okay. Um, start, by start by sharing your company's core values the principles that guide every corporate effort during the recruiting process so prospective and so prospective employees know if the company will be a good fit for them all right very good so you start by sharing your company's core values all right every company guys that's why the vision and the mission are important of the, the companies i hope if i would ask you what is the mission and the vision of the company that you work for you know what to tell me, all right? I'm not gonna ask you, but I hope you know, all right? Because those are the core, when you read the vision and the mission of your company, you're talking about the core values at the end of the day, all right? Very good. Eddie, continue reading, please, if. Okay. If your team is ever out of sync, take a moment to refocus on these values by acknowledging everyone, Sorry, by, uh, by uh, acknowledging everyone is working toward a common goal. It will make it easier for a diverse workforce, diverse. To, com diverse workforce to communicate and collaborate better. A quick reminder of core values will help everyone involved to remember their common ground and reestablish the group identity. Excellent. All right. Thank you, uh, Eric. Very good. So here it's telling you, all right, so if you feel, if you are in charge of a department or if even if you're not, but if you feel the core values of your company are lost or people don't know about them, Take a moment, all right, and, and get them together and say, guys, do you remember the core values of this company? All right, we are all like working here towards the benefit of the company, towards the benefit of in, like ourselves also, all right? So everyone gets involved in the, on that again, and everybody is on the right track, on the same track, on the same page, and everybody is on, their common, on the common ground, all right? So I think that that's why it's so important. Very good. Normita, do you mind reading number two? Number two is leverage each individual's strengths. Okay. If each employee uh, has a particular strength uh, with their, whether it's an older generation, expertise and being there, done that experience, or when it ne or a never employees outside the box thinking, Everyone brings some something unique to the table after all. That's why you hire them. Be conscious, conceal, con conscious, conscious of what each team member strength is so you can make the most of it of it. When working is a cross generation setting, each individual can offer his or her own unique 
background, a skill or experience set to help to project move forward. Excellent, all right, very good. So you have to remember every employee, every single employee of your company or of your team uh, members, all right, your coworkers, everybody's got strengths, all right, everyone, all right? So it's important for you to take a moment and actually kind of like, you know, understand the strengths, identify the strengths, all right? And see what is, what he or she can offer. Everyone has something to offer for the company. Otherwise, you wouldn't be working for that company. Someone saw those strengths on you, all right? So if now, in a way, you're in charge of a department or in charge of the, the entire, like, place, then take a moment and kind of identify everybody's um, strength and make them feel that they are valued, that, they, that their strengths are worth it, all right? And then you can like, I don't know, you can make it, like you can make them work even better, all right? So I think it's very, important. I like where at the beginning it says each employee has a particular strength. We need to know that always. Always, always, always. Whether it's an older generation expertise, all right? Been there, done that, all right? Especially baby boomers. Okay, hemos dicho en estos días, ¿verdad? Los baby boomers tienen experiencia, all right? And maybe the generation X and generation Y, they are like more tech savvy, all right? But baby boomers have opened the ways for us, all right? So their expertise is really valued, should be valued, all right? Y le van a decir eso, been there, done that, all right? So they know how it is, all right? So take, take a moment and actually think about it and say, yeah, no kidding. It's true, all right? All right, so, or a new employee is outside the box thinking. Eso también es importante. Los millennials o los even más, de la generación Z, all right? Niños que están saliendo ahorita, all right? Ellos tienen, op they are open-minded because this is their first job, perhaps, all right? So they are new. They are new to the job, like to the workforce. So they have ideas. They have new ideas. They have fresh ideas. So take advantage of those things. Tenemos aquí, o sea, we need to see this as this big frutero, you know? We have like all types of fruits here, all right? Like we can get experience for people that like baby boomers, they have the expertise, tech savvy, Gen X, Gen Y, y los más chiquitos, all right? Los más jóvenes, they are so fresh, all right? So take advantage of those ideas and those things. And I think the company will work better. All right, Eric, you agree? <laughs> Chip incorporado, agree. they have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right, all right, very good. Pero a veces pasa que we think because he's a baby boomer, he's, uh, you know, he's not, you know, he just does it the way he has done it for years. Well, yeah, but he does it for a reason. All right, so listen to him, listen to her, all right, or listen to new ideas that are coming in. Very good. Who wants to read number three? Number three was conduct regular performance conversations. Someone to read number three? Okay, I read. Mm -hmm. sure, I'm going. Thank you, Jesse. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Many large organizations today are getting rich of annual performance reviews. That's because most find them to be time consuming and not effective in helping employees improve their performance in real time. Instead of sitting down with employees, once or year to discuss their discuss. performance, discuss their performance, establish a process to have all managers and team leaders chat regularly with their staff about what's working and what's not. Mm -hmm. Additionally, structure managers to ask employees how they feel. They are contribu contribu contributing, <laughs> contributing, contributing to the teams or company missions. Get everyone focused on concrete tasks and projects. 
that relate directly to the company's greatest goal by making sure everyone knows that I'm doing their part to drive the company forward. They will feel more engagement and engaged, engaged and eager, eager, eager to help a prior or team success. Oh, succeed. All right. Very good. All right. So usually, guys, the way that we have been doing this or the way the companies have been doing this is they used to have or they still have some of them an annual like a once a year review all right that's too long why do you have to wait 11 months and a half to see what's working and what is not working all right why do you have to wait a year that that should change by now that it should be changing by now and according to this like have it make them like more often or have some other ways to do it all right don't wait a big massive meeting all right for just to like to have one once a year you can have different meetings in different times of the year with different people or as this is saying all right sit down with employees and talk about it all right talk about what's working what is not working all right so it's it's really important it says instruct your managers to ask employees how they feel guys this is really important all right and we have been we talked about this at the very beginning of the course the training development the uh, professional development get this um feeling of empowerment to your employees all right especially if you are in a managerial position if you're a manager of some kind I know that you guys are super busy, all right? But take a moment and ask your employees how they feel. They will feel valued, all right? It's very important. It's just like, you know, people say a smile uh, makes your day. Well, yeah, asking someone how you are makes them, you know, feel better, makes them feel valued, all right? So that, that's a key, right, for that. Number four. Number four was create mentorship opportunities who wants to read mentorship opportunities Me, teacher. thank you jenny one way to tackle the problem here on is to pay together employees from different let me different generations by doing so younger younger workers can benefit from an older worker experience and already developed skill set additionally older generations might also learn from the younger employees perhaps mastering a new technology or embracing a new idea this pairing can also help different generations understand how to communicate effectively with one another and identify, identify. particular skills or strengths they might need for a future project mm -hmm. with older generations delaying retirement as newer generations increasingly enter the workplace effective collaboration will be key for business success today although each gener generation and individual will have their own preferred working style Following these tips will help your workers and managers recognize each other's strengths and foster greater cohesiveness, 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 cohesiveness across the entire company. Very good. All right. Very good. So here, guys, is one way to tackle or to attack the problem head on is to pair together employees from different generations. I don't know if you guys are doing this or not, but do you think it would work, for example, to put a baby boomer with a millennial together in an office? Would it work? Normita, what do you say? Yes, teacher. Okay. Why? Why do you think it works? Because uh, depending the the um, the, um, the work is uh, as is a paid per area 
-hmm. Yeah, for example, industrial engineer area has one offices and them is studying there all the people related to that area. Operation is the same in, the, in, in all departments. Okay. And when, for example, had a vacancy, mm -hmm. the new players are a teenage or a millennials. And them uh, intro in that offices and need to share and, and, con and make a, a relation with all the team in the office. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Norma. What about the rest of you guys? Do you think uh, pairing up like to employees from different generations would it work? Um, I think it works because you can get the best of mm -hmm. two worlds. All right. The best strengths of a baby boomer, right? Uh, who can teach a millennial and a millennial who can uh, who has uh, all the new ideas fresh ideas and, and and that is a good combination all right okay very good all right you you guys don't think that they're gonna kill each other <laughs> <laughs> could probably i don't know clear, clear rules i mean everyone uh -huh. has a has a role in, in that right. play right as my mama said, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> everyone, right. everyone has a has a role, right? And then you, um, you have to you do your your job, mm -hmm. and you get experience from another person. You learn mm -hmm. from everyone mm -hmm. every yeah. day. That's right. And uh, uh -huh. in the case of any any problem, he, he has to uh, how to say a uh, supervisor or a. Or uh, no, I don't know. Someone has to intervene and, and mm. see and focus on the on the company objectives. Right. The objectives okay. are the are the a good worker for me. For my right. opinion, for a, a good worker is defined is defined on on how he or she mm -hmm. meet the the company objectives. Okay. No matter if they are X or they are millennial. Right. All right. Very good. According to this. It's that it can improve uh, communication between generations, right? Because they're working together, so they find a way to communicate effectively with one another, all right? So I think it would work. I think it's interesting because it's like, yeah, you know, like, like us, um, Eric was saying, it's like putting together two worlds in one space, you know, the expertise and the freshness. So I think it would work, you know, if you make it the right way, I think it would be like very nice. Number five, it's, uh, let me see, provide a variety of communication channels. All right, let's see that one. Who wants to read this? Um, this one right here, guys. Me? Okay, I am. Thank you. Who's? <laughs> Williams, I think. Okay, I am going to. Yes. Okay. In Include face-to-face -face meetings and phone calls in your normal routines, as well as texting and, and emails. Old workers grew up in a generation before cell phones and email, and may prefer to communicate via in-person conversation or phone calls. In general, the younger the worker, the more comfortable they are likely to be with texting, emailing, or social media posting, and open source, open source collaboration tool points out that one of the benefits they can bring to the workplace is better relationships between the generations. All right, so it's imp thank you, Williams. It's important, guys, don't, don't forget that there are three generations, maybe even four generations working on, like working together in different places and different settings, all right? So, hay un micrófono abierto otra vez. Hola, hola. Thank you. All right. Okay. So I think it's important to realize and to know that you have these generations all together in one place. So that's why having different like ways or communication channels is important. All right. Maybe baby boomers don't feel so comfortable with a text. Call them. 
all right? Or go see them at their office or at their workplace or where they are, like on the department they are. I'm just kind of say, hi, I'm here, all right? Remember that before, I mean, texting, I still find texting a little bit cold and I'm not a baby boomer, all right? I, I'd rather hear someone's voice than just read a text. I don't know if he texted or she texted it, maybe someone else did. All right, so I don't know, I wanna hear you. I mean, it's different when I, for example, I talk to Norma on the phone and I say, hey, Normita, you know, we talk and I hear her and everything, then just by texting. But I understand that millennials, and remember a video we saw like a couple of weeks ago, that they find like calling each other like in personal or, or like intruding on your time, all right? But that's millennials, not Generation X not baby boomers maybe they want to see you and they want to hear you talking to them all right so you have to take into account all these um communication channels uh, you're not gonna please everyone never ever that's impossible all right but at least you're trying all right and at least you you know you take these things into account and i think it, it would work better all right uh don't make assumptions who wants to read this this is not um any of the numbers we had before, but this is like a summary of everything. Don't make assumptions. Who wants to read that one? Someone that has not read yet? Jenny, you wanna read? Can I teach you? Yeah, go ahead, Irene, go ahead, yes, thank you. Don't make assumptions. Yeah, <laughs> know that you know that we be handed you a bunch of generations. We're telling you not to stereotype. The case is the is that let individual people surprise surprise you. While, while there's a good reason to add, acquire to acquire to acquire, acquire and overall understand understanding. Or the standing sorry of general 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 generational characteristic is important to avoid making assumption about the skill or preference of any particular person. You need to treat millennials as individuals in the workforce and not assume that what works for one person, we work for all of them. His work are equally true for every, every generation. Assuming that people have certain preference or characteristic but based, mm -hmm. based sorry, in their age is a form of profiling. And it can give risk to the feelings of big mission. Misunderstood. 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 Sorry. Let, let each them member tell you their preferred preferred style. Star, star you understand of age related ten tendencies can inform the array of choice of choice you express to your team. But don't understand mate individual variation all right very good all right guys so here what we're saying to summarize this uh topic for tonight i think it's important for us not to make assumptions all right something that is really important is you need to treat baby boomers as individuals in the work for, uh, on the workforce and not assume that what works for one person will work for all of them or you need to treat yen x as individuals in the workforce and not assume that what works for one person will work for all of them. So this quote or this saying, I think it, it applies to any generation, all right? Just because you're a millennial doesn't mean that you should be treated as all the millennials, all right? Maybe you are not, you know, like uh, self-entitled as people think millennials are. Maybe you're not self-centered as people think millennials are. Maybe you're not so tech savvy as everyone are, all right? So don't treat everyone just because they belong to a certain generation. Don't treat them 
like that. I mean, you have to treat them as individuals, all right? And, it's, and avoid a stereotyping. Just because you are a baby boomer and there are stereotypes about that, about that generation, don't do it. I mean, give them a chance to prove you wrong, all right? Or to prove everyone wrong, all right? So I think not stereotyping is really, really important, all right? And that would make you work better and feel better about what you guys are doing. All right. Um, do you guys have any questions, any comment about this? What we were reading? No, teacher, it's very interesting. All right, very good. The, the right. topic. Yeah, I mean, honestly speaking, I think it's interesting because we all work and we all face with different generations. All right, and we, all of us belong to a generation. It can be millennial, it can be Gen X, can be Gen, I don't know, like baby boomers. I don't think anybody here is baby boomer, but, um, but we have parents, all right? Or we have someone at our workplace that is a baby boomer, all right? We have, I don't know, um, Normita, for example. Normita has a, a son that he's already at university. All right, so he's not even a millennial, Normita. How old is your son, Norma? My, my son? Your, your son, yeah. Yes, yeah, a millennial because uh, it's the 1999. Ay, Dios mío, y de los más chiquitos de los millennials, all right? Ya casi llegando a la otra generation, all right? So it's important, all right, to know these characteristics, yes. all right, about the future. And this is, I mean, and we're getting these people at work soon, all right? So it's important for us to know about these, their characteristics, how to bridge the gap, how to deal with them, all right? It's because we belong to this whole society, all right? And we're not gonna face generations only at the workplace. Here, for example, in classes, or if you go on, I don't know, to a club or something, to a, or I don't know, any, any, anywhere you go, you're gonna find different generations. And sometimes a baby boomer is like shopping and it, he takes forever, all right? Well, yeah, be patient, all right? Or these kids that, I mean, the younger kids that they just wanna like Irene, he, her son is 11, right, Irene? 11 years old, your son, Irene? Yes. Yeah, all right. I have a teenager, he's 16, Oscar, his oldest daughter, he's, she's like, Oscar, 10 years 11. old? 11. Also. 11 also. So these are new generations. Imagine what they're going to be like when they actually hit the workforce. All right. So I think it's very important for us to start like knowing them. All right. Ahorita vemos a los baby boomers, los más viejitos. But in a couple of uh, years, we, Generation X, we're going to be los más viejitos. All right. So it's, that's the way it is. Y luego los millennials dejarán de ser los techie people, all right? Ahí los van a superar los otros niños que ya vienen con la laptop. A <laughs> la par de la pacha. All right, so that's, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. All right, guys, very good. So thank you so much for being with me another night. Acuérdese que tenemos, eh, yo me quedo 10 minutos más por si alguien necesita help on anything, all right? Mañana is the last day, así como de ellos estuvieron ahora en su clase las dos horas. A todos, recuerde que mañana es la encuesta a las 9 de la noche. No quiere decir que a esa hora va a entrar, va a entrar a las 8, juiciosito a esa hora. <risa> ¿Verdad? Y igual a las nueve empezamos a hacer la encuesta. Cuando la terminemos, tomamos la captura de pantalla de enviado y abajo su nombre completo para que sepan quién la hizo y quién fue obediente de, de mandarla. All right? All right, guys. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 God bless you too. Tomorrow. Bye. See you thank tomorrow. You. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Dice que le vendo a abrir el portón.
Hi, Silvita. Silvita, ¿no tiene audio, Silvi? Sí, lo que pasa es que no sabía en qué estaban, por eso no le hablé. Ah, no, 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 aquí, no. Está, aquí estoy. Sí, es que, ajá, es que tuve una pequeña ahí emergencia y tuve que levantarme, pero ya, ya estoy aquí. ¿Están en grupo o ya terminaron? No, 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 ya, ya, no, Silvita, we finished. No, lo que pasa es que me quedo, porque sí, sí. en case someone needs extra help with anything. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? ¿Sí ¿Y entonces la que... asistencia en mi caso? No, ya está. Ya la tomé. Ah, y no. Y si yo pensé que faltaba. No, no, verdad. Ah, bueno. Entonces, Silvita, ¿cómo va con la plataforma? Sí, ¿y cómo va con la plataforma? Cuénteme. Ah, es de, eh, bueno, de, de, de part two. En de right, right, de part of two. 2.2 Ajá, 2.2 eh, We have to write not only or not also the, the sentence mm -hmm. but, is, but no, I write bad I suppose because don't, don't Ah, write. okay, let me, let, me, let me get it here, just give me a second Hold on Add 2.2 2.2, ¿verdad, Silvita? Yes, yes. All right, let me get it. Mm -hmm. in, in the other, yeah, mm -hmm. in, in two of that sentence, there are in the exam. Middle, middle ah, sentence. okay, all right, so yeah. I, I don't have to, to finish that midterm. Okay, yeah, okay. give me a second here. I'm just loading this up for you here. Uh, 2.2. Were you able to do any of them, Silvia, or none of them? Mm, I do. Did you, did you do number one? I'm going to help you here right now. I'm going to put it on the chat. All right. So you can like take a picture of it. That's number one. Okay. All right. So the one I just wrote there is number one. I'm going to take. I uh, only have to do the fourth. <laughs> oh, only the fourth? Yes. Oh, so number one, two, and three finished. No, no. Only four. I do very good. <laughs> the another, they are bad. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. So the one I just, ha I just showed you there uh, is number one. Okay. So you may take a picture of it if you want. This is number two. Right, and I'm gonna show you number three right now. There, that's the, the, the first one is number one. She only, she not only writes, that's number two. I not, I not only sent, that's number three. Okay. Do you need number five? Four and five also? And I want five. I want five because I don't have. Uh, only, yes, I need to five too. Number five. Oh. Okay. Yes, five. Okay. Okay, the one I'm going to type right now, Silvia, that is number five, okay? They okay. not only need food, but also medicine, that's number five. La cuatro la tiene. Yes, I have. Okay, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have in, I think. Okay. 
Okay. I, I want to ask, maybe it's for the, 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 the point at the end of the sentence? Yeah, the period, yes. If you don't put it, it's going to mark it wrong. Mm -hmm. the, but in, in, in the fourth, it, it was happening. The, uh, I, I was seen period. No, mm -hmm. me lo aceptó. Cuando se lo puse, me lo aceptó, pero con las otras no pude, no sé. What, I don't know. What it, letter. Uh, right, okay. All right. <laughs> well, try with these ones, uh, Silvia. All right. Okay. Try with the ones I, I sent to you right now. Um, pero sí, póngale siempre punto final, si no, no se los va a agarrar. Y revise, okay. ¿verdad? Check what you had before and check with these answers right now. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, only I, I think only in this because uh, the, the other the other example is neither and nor but right. mm -hmm. no los hice porque como no me había dado paso a la primera no lo había tocado eso. Ah okay, all right. Como ese intenté cuando sí me las aceptó, intenté, pero lo voy a hacer. Mm -hmm. Y si tengo problemas yo las sí, sí, claro. tengo que practicar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, ya, yeah, ya yeah, Silvita, está bien. Y, the the other is no problem. I don't finish the the three point three three point eight or I don't know because no estuve en esa clase y no sé no 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 como no estuve en esa clase quería ver el video primero. Three point es la es three point three. Okay. Three point three. And the entry point, la última, no estuve, creo que fue eso, no me acuerdo. Mm -hmm. Sí, it was last week. Esas clases y como no estuve, yo dije quizás, bueno, quería ver los videos primero, pero es, están sencillas. Ah, ok, si no cualquier cosa igual me, me, me dice, Silvita. En, en, para esta semana la 4 va. Sí, la 4 y el examen final. Ah, oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Porque ya, ya. Esta es la última, bueno, mañana ya es la última clase, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. tiene que estar terminado la sección 4 más el examen final. Ya, ya, I received the questionnaire. Ah, oh, ok. And the, and the administrator told me that we don't have this, this model. They talk with me because I do the... I do the, the inscripción, yo la hago. Ah, the registration. Uh -huh, the registration. Mm -hmm. They told me, I, I want to only uh, always um, have with you, teacher. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Silvita. All right. Silvia, and you were with me the other the other module, the other yes. course. Ah. Yes, yes. Me, 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 casi todos. Really? Casi todos. Sí, los primeros módulos, los primeros do, tres. Sí, los tuve con otro teacher. Ok. Pero el grupo con el que yo estaba no estaba conforme con él. No sé por qué. Yo, a mí sí me gustó. No sé, quizás como yo llegué con el nuevo y los demás ya siempre ah. la mencioné a usted, 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 usted. Y entonces, al final quizás de tanto que lo dijeron, no lo cambiaron, ¿verdad? Pero yo estuve conforme con ambos. Yo sentí que aprendí con ambos. All right, el problema right. es el tiempo, o sea, a veces el tiempo es bien difícil, pero me ha gustado porque, y lástima que hoy lo van a quitar, porque como nos obligan con cámara, nos obligan con, con eso, aprende uno más, porque practica más. Sí, sí, se aprende más. Pero hoy me quedé. <risa> que quería ponerme más la fila y me lo quitaron, de mi modo, dije, yo me quería al principio también, pero bueno. A veces lo bueno no dura mucho tiempo. <risas> sí, pero pero yo creo que vamos a, a seguir. Lo que pasa es que es de, es de llenar cupos y todo, ¿verdad? Entonces ya para estos niveles es como más difícil de llenar. Los básicos se llenan rápido. Sí, y, y, uh, y I like this group because uh -huh. this group is uh, uh, study, yeah. uh, uh, participating. They participate. Uh, they don't lose the, the class. Uh -huh. I like to work with, with them because in the, the group, uh, small group, mm -hmm. we talk, we talk. Right, them. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I, I really enjoy the group, actually. It's, it's a nice group. Uh -huh. I hope yeah. don't change that, but... Hey. Yeah, we yeah. have to see, hopefully. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Silvita, very good. 
Thank you, teacher. No, uh, thank you. Uh, we are uh, tomorrow in the class. And yes. I hope of course. Okay. Yes. I go, I'm going to work in the platform right yes, now. Yes, please. But okay, Silvia. For that reason, tomorrow I, I'm going to ask in, in, in the chat or WhatsApp. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, no problem. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, Thank very good. You. Thank, Thank you, Silvia. Good night. Yes. Good night. Bye. Rest. Bye.